Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and today we're checking out this game, Astro Renaissance. This has been becoming very, very popular lately since all of the tea was real high, but let's have a look at what you can do. So I've already been playing a little bit and so far I'm really loving this game. I mean, look at this really cute outfit. I also have this cool scepter. I've got these cat ear headphones. I'm loving my outfit and I got this cute cat. I'm going to show you how to get some of these things today so that you can get started in Astro Renaissance as well if you have not already. I'm gonna show you how to do quests, how to do dress up. Let's get into it. So this is where you spawn. It's up here on one of these little light pads. This is kind of like your hub here. So you spawn in here and it shows you some stuff that's on sale now. That Ooh, actually that looks really cool. First place you want to go to is the Citadel of Cosmos. Okay, once you're over in the Citadel of Cosmos, you spawn in one of these light pads, which is very cool. There is someone to talk here and that's going to take you through the tutorial. I'll quickly show you what that looks like. She's just going to press and hold E. She's going to start explaining stuff to you. Once you've done that, you can press on start tutorial and she's going to start explaining how to use your phone. And your phone is kind of like the little thing that you would have had like on Royal High over to the right. And she's showing you where your wardrobe is. You're like, cool. This is where the shop is. I'm just going to give you the basic. Next thing she shows you is your tablet. In your tablet, you can decorate a lot like you could decorate your journal in Royal Highs, which is really cute. I don't think you can add stickers and stuff, but you can change the colors, and I have done that already. I'll show you mine in a few minutes. You can also go in and see what current quests that you have, add your wish list, and see your friends. And then they show you where poses are, which is the little alien, which is super cute. And then the spaceship is where you're going to travel, and there's different planets you can travel to. And I'm going to cover those in a different video because there are other quests that you can do on other planets. And then and the last little thing is the cogwheels and that is your settings and that's where you're going to be able to go in and change the settings of your game and your gameplay style. And then the last thing they that show you over here is your XP bar and this is your XP bar. Once this gets up to the top you're going to level up. Okay and then that's it. That's all she shows you to do. So that's where you're going to start is talk this girl stood here. Once you've done that you're going to be able to go around and start doing quests. Now I'm going to show you probably the first most important quest that you need to do. So the first First quest that you need to do is talk to this guy. His name is Dr. Fluffkins. So I've switched to my alt account so I can show you how this quest works. So we're gonna try and talk to Dr. Fluffkins. There we go. Okay, so let's do this quest with Dr. Fluffkins. I'm gonna show you where everything is. Oh no. Okay, say so I can help you find it. He says, really? I beg you to find them. I really need my laboratory back. So you need to find five tools and we're going to go off and find these. I'm going to see if I can remember where they all are. So the best way to do this is to kind of make a circle of the map. I always start in the park. I can't remember if they are in the park, but we're going to do it together. Let's have a look. If they are in the park, they're like on tables and stuff. Do we see any? Here we go. Here's one right here. I don't think there's any more in here. I'm going to grab this moonstone mom over here because I might as well level up my alt account while I'm at it. Okay, so I'm going to start going left first. Usually for every quest, there's always something hidden over here and I'm right. There's one here. So we're going to grab that one. Also, I like to look around through here just to make sure there's nothing back here. Not at the moment. We'll also look through the park. Any or like where the food concessions are. Is there anything here? Oh, there is one here. So the third one is there. If there's any down this way, I'm finding loads of moonstones. Uh, sometimes these are hidden in this parking deck. Make sure I always look behind here because sometimes there's stuff behind there and do that for each of the quests. Anything here, nothing there, nothing there. Oh, I hope I remember where these all are. Okay, there's nothing here. Okay, let's make sure there's nothing down this road before we, well, actually, we'll just go this way and then come back down. All right, anything this way? We only need two more. There's like a little alley back here. Okay, I don't see anything down this back alley. All right, let's go down this last road. Anything up here? No. Let's also check in here. Sometimes there's things hidden in the tech cafe. Don't see anything in the tech cafe. I'm gonna find them, don't worry. Okay, I had to do some looking around, but there's also one up here on this bench. So let's grab this one. And then we only need one more. So the last one's super close by. It's not in the subway where I thought it was. It's just over here in between the green screen and the stairs of the subway. So now we have all five tools and we're gonna head back. Yo, I found all your stuff. And he said, thank you so much 
much. I can finally work again. Don't be afraid to come to my laboratory. You can help make new potions if you desire. So now that we've done this quest, we have a job to earn and you'll get a little badge. Unlock future slab award. Now to do the job, you just go into the lab here next to Dr. Fluffkins. I'm gonna go in here and here it is. So now you're in the lab and it's like a little mini game. So I'm gonna show you how to play the mini game. So you're gonna press E and what's in here, you're gonna press these based on this pattern. So the first one's blue and then it's pink and then it's purple and then it's green. And you're gonna keep doing that to run out of time. So you manage to create a potion and then you get rewards. I got 129 moonstones and 149 XP, which is gonna go into our XP bar here. Now I'm gonna show you how to get this super cute little cat friend. He's super cute. There's another quest really close by. So again, I'm gonna have to do this on my alt account, but this is how you do it. You talk to Venus, he's here in a wheelchair. Now we need to go find the cat. Now I know exactly where the cat is, so I'm gonna show you where to get him. So you're gonna have a run down here to the right, all the way down to the subway area. And you're gonna go into the subway area right here. You're gonna press enter, go in there. And now the cat is up there. Look at him, he's just sat up there. And there's also a moonstone where he's at. Now the easiest way I found to do that is to jump on top of these vending machines. And then once you do that, you need to keep trying to jump until you manage to kind of like jump your way up onto this wall. Okay, I'm up there. So now that I'm up on the wall, there's the cat. So you're gonna grab the cat and grab yourself a moonstone while you're up there. Now we're gonna take the cat back. You can just jump off here to make it a bit faster. Here he is. Let's give him back to Venus. Thank you so much for finding my cat. Here have a plushie of my cat. I knitted a long time ago. I hope you like it. So cute. So now we have a free item in the game. Now I'm gonna show you how to do dress up really quick so you can see how to add the cat to yourself. To do dress up, you're gonna press dress up over here. Press the, the skirts here. Now this is gonna show you everything that you've unlocked. So we have human ears, a futures lab coat. <laughs> oh, and then also I had to figure out how to turn off my accessories. If you have extra stuff, you just go down here and click Roblox accessories. It turns those off so that you can then add your own stuff. Now I really wanna dress Lacey up kinda cute. So let's give her some cute hair. Let's give her some like, oh, that's kinda strange. Let's give her some different hair than that. Maybe let's find her some cute hair. Oh, that was cute. Okay, let's do that in like a... Uh, this rainbowy color is cool. Okay, and she's got her lab coat on and here's the cat and the cat kind of floats beside you. How cute is that? Now you can change what your outfits looks like by pressing color. So if we go into the lab coat and then press red, like it's gonna change it to this red color and it looks like... Oh, you can also change it to different fabric. So you can have like this cool spacey one. You can have anything you want. Oh, well, I'm gonna put that on her because it's just kind of crazy and I'm not doing a whole lot with her since she's my alt account, but let's put her, let's give her some makeup too. <laughs> I'm just gonna make her look really funny, but you guys obviously do whatever you wanna do with your characters, but there's loads and loads of options. Look at how cute she looks. That's kinda how you wanna do your dress up. You can also get hills and things. There's also a shop. Let's check out the shop. There's all these things that you can get and there's loads and loads and loads of stuff. Okay, I'm back here in my main character and I'm gonna show you how to get some more stuff. Now I have purchased VIP on this account because it's my main account. I already have a few things and I've bought some stuff in game because I really like it so far. But let me show you how to get even more moonstones and also how to get these arcade tickets. Where you're gonna do that is to go over here to the Cosmic Adventure. You're gonna go in here. This is gonna take you to a new server. So you're gonna say yes. Okay, so now we're in the arcade and the thing that I have found the easiest to get like the fast is I go over here. There's a game right here and I do start moonlight game. This one to me is the easiest one because I've already like memorized where everything is. So I press play. Oh, wait, choose this and then press play. Here's find the differences. So I know already there's one here, 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 the necklace, her mouth, this, and the star. Oh wait, I'm missing one. <gasps> what am I missing? Did I not click something? Oh no. Uh, seven. What did I miss? Oh no, I missed something. Normally I get that so much faster. I'm gonna play again. So I like this game because it's very, very easy. I will show you how to play the others too though. So here, here, here necklace, mouth, this thing, and that dot, and this. There we go. So now I have, let's see how many tickets I have. I have 216 tickets. So there's that. Let's have a look at some of the other games you can also play. So there is Balloon Popper. We'll press Balloon Popper. It tells you what 
which one to press. It says green. Now these do change. You gotta get to pay attention. I have two seconds to get a blue. There's no blues. No blues. No blues. There's a blue. Uh, red. Red, 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 red. Need a red balloon. Now it's changed to blue. Now it's red. Still red. You gotta pay attention to this. Red, red, red. Yellow. Yellow. Orange. Orange. Where's orange? There's no oranges. Red. Purple. Purple. Oh. Oh no. See it changed. Okay. But you still get rewards from that too. So I have 180 XPs. My XP is going up by playing these. And there's one more game which is Astro Jump. So let's press that one. Let's play on this. Now this you need to press your arrows here up and down. So I haven't gone very far on this yet. I kind of struggled with it to press it fast enough or I press it too soon. <laughs> like that. You try that one on your own. This is not my favorite one, but it's really fun. So you guys try it yourself. Let me know how you do in the comments, by the way. So there's even more games. This one costs 50 tickets and I have 381. So let's play it. This is like, it's going to show you where a ball is. You got to follow it or star. Okay. There's star. So this cup, I think it's this one. <gasps> what? I followed that. How was it not that one? No, I was so close. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna guess that one. No, it's there. I'm so close every time. I didn't get anything. Okay, so the other things you can do, there is, oh, there's some match cards. I like this one too. So let's play match cards. You wanna, it's like, um, yeah, it's just match cards. You open them up. Uh, those, how did those not match? Those do not match. That one doesn't match. Oh no, we don't have long to, okay, those match. What, what do you mean? Ah! Okay, those match. And then we know that one's there. How are, are those different? I don't know. Star. And then these two. Got it. Okay, there we go. We did it. Uh, We got 150 tickets and 250 XP. There are some other games to play back here. Oh, also, if you go up here, there's like something you can get. I don't remember what it was. And you just need to like jump your way up. Let me see if I can do it again. Oh, I think it was a badge or something or an item. But if you go up here, you get it. Ah, no, I'm falling. Ah, <laughs> It's okay. It's I'm go. I'm go. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Fine. It's not fine. It's definitely not fine. Okay. Somehow I threw myself up there. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, it's uh. I remember what it was. So if you get up here so far, you get like um. It's a badge. Not a badge. Like an award thing, and it's like the stuck award or something. Oh, come on. Keep going. Keep going. Go all the way up. So somewhere up here, you're gonna get that, and you're like stuck in here. So just keep going up. You'll see it pop up. It's definitely up here. Oh, there's a moonstone. Okay. Now let's go to the next game I want to show you, which is this. It's a claw machine. You need 100 tickets to play this, and it's going to give you a random item. So let's play. Try your like the claw machine. You don't actually do anything. And oh, I got this. So I got Wandy Hundy, the powerful friend. Yo, let's try this one. I'm going to try them all. I get another one. This one is, ooh, slippers. Little monster slippers. So I got a wearable item. And this one, what's this one? What are you? Oh, more monster slippers. I'm going to have loads of those. <laughs> So now I've got all those. Now there is another thing that you should definitely do and you can do this every 30 minutes and it's this machine right here. It's the Amora Celestial machine. So you're gonna press play and you get a chance. There's loads and loads of typing. I'm not gonna read it all out for you because I don't wanna bore you to death. But this gives you a chance at like a halo or a step dry thing. Okay, I didn't actually win anything this time but I can come back in 30 minutes to get one. Now I've not won a halo yet but I did win this scepter and look how cool it is. It's so pretty. Let me show you it in the dress up menu. It is the Night Aviation Scepter and that is the one that I want. It's so, so pretty. I've got these from doing quests. These I bought with my moonstones and they're so, so pretty. Now there is one other thing that you can do and you can spin this wheel for 120 tickets. So let's have a spin and see what else we can get. There's loads of way to play. You can spend so much time in the arcade. We got 50 tickets. Oh, well, we got like 50 back of what we put in. <laughs> do we have enough to spin again? No, that's fine. I'll have to play some more games just to, to get them again. And then the last thing that you can do in the arcade. Oh, there's also laser tag, but I'll show you that in another video because you can get a free halo in there. And I'm going to do a video showing you how to get a free halo. So keep an eye on the channel and you'll see that next time. Last thing you can do in here though is exchange tickets. I have 61 tickets. So you can put in 61 and it'll give you moonstones back. So there you go. It's very, very cool. So that is all I'm going to show you of Astro Renaissance today. At least it will get you started. I'm going to be making more more videos on this game because I really, really like it. Let me know in the comments if you've played this yet and do you like the game. I'll see you next time. Bye!